face-off. A true test of skill. These maps will challenge you in 1v1 and 2v2 gameplay as you engage in intense close quarters combat within confined, tightly designed arenas. Outsmarting and outmaneuvering your opponent is more vital to success than ever. Your positioning in relation to the enemy is a key factor in guaranteeing a victory. First up, Erosion, set in a crumbling Roman ruins. This map features abundant twists, turns and deep verticality. Spatial awareness and flanking tactics are essential to your survival. On the ground floor, aqueducts transition between tight corridors in the north and an open field in the south. The aqueducts' narrow tunnels leave little room to maneuver, so watch for ground explosives and be ready to fire on sight. For a broader view of the arena, a walkway hugging the perimeter and cutting down the center lends eyes on the ground below. But lack of cover will leave you exposed as you move across. The real advantage lies in these structures along the path. A shrine in the west provides both overhead cover and a great ambush opportunity. While the two towers to the southeast provide the highest views in the map. Enemies that try to flee and hide can be especially devious, with numerous areas to hold up in. If you get caught in a game of cat and mouse, watch your kill cam to hone in on your opponent's location and take advantage of nearby pathways to deliver a deadly flanking attack. Next up, a ground. The ground is set upon the cadaverous remains of a vessel, shipwrecked along a desolate coastline. The map is composed almost entirely of open sightlines, leaving little time between skirmishes. A cramped walkway in the ship's hull and natural outcroppings in the nearby cabin offer some cover but it won't take long for the enemy to hunt you down. With such expansive sidelines, long-range standoffs can end up testing your marksmanship throughout the match. If sniping's your strength, push the outer boundaries to keep your opponents at bay. For more aggressive play, utilize the open space, navigating through the coastline, caverns, and along the ship to engage your opponent from multiple angles. Take advantage of the surrounding crates, debris, and other obstacles to block your opponent's view and get the jump up close or at mid-range. Equip extreme conditioning for increased mobility while switching positions. For an especially satisfying kill, push them towards the shore, keep their back to the waves, and send them into the Great Blue Sea. Moving to a more luxurious location, we have Getaway. Set in and around a palatial beach house, this map pits players in close quarters combat at every turn. The house itself is composed of several small rooms, perfectly suited for shotgun and knife attacks. Dead silence is nearly essential to maintaining a low profile while moving across the wooden floors of the house, where the sound of approaching footsteps can give the enemy just enough time to counter your attack. The outside area allows for a brief respite from the tight confines of the house, but don't get too comfortable. A shallow pool on the premises might seem to offer a premium ambush point, but you'll find it difficult to survive any stance outside of a standing position. The driveway, on the other hand, is further fielded from view, allowing for coordinated attacks on unsuspecting enemies. Where the other maps provide some long-range options, it's best to cater your loadout to short-range, rapid skirmishes. Perks like sleight of hand and quick draw minimize downtime, allowing rapid explosive deployment for maximum close quarters damage. In an arena of this size, there's no such thing as dirty fighting. Lastly, Lookout takes us deep into Afghanistan. A large outpost situated in the hills of the Korangal Valley. This map challenges players with close quarters combat on the ground floor, with clear sight lines above. Movement within the surrounding bunkers is very limited. Although the elevated landscape and the ability to scale most structures lend a clear vantage point at the expense of exposure. Success relies on your ability to balance hunting in the open while still being able to adapt to close quarters combat. Marksmen can help spot enemies using the high ground before they gain the advantage, allowing you to stand back and land kills from a distance. If you'd rather get in close for the kill, equip the melee proficiency along with Assassin to gain the upper hand against enemies flanking through the bunkers. With such a stark contrast between entirely open sidelines and narrow interior locations, patience often determines which player gets the optimal battleground. If you're down below, goad the enemy into coming after you. 
If you're aiming for the long shot, wait for your opponent to lean out from cover and grab the kill. For all face-off maps, focus is absolutely paramount. Rush around without a plan and you'll give up your location time and time again. Pay careful attention to your opponent's loadout and playstyle and adjust your tactics accordingly. The earlier you anticipate and counter their strategy, the more uncoordinated they'll become, giving up easier and easier kills throughout the match. If they start to get the lead on you, pay closer attention to your kill cam. The information it provides can help you determine where they're striking from and what type of weapons they're using. In maps this size, you'll face a true test of your skills. Keep a cool head, adapt quickly, and you may just pull it off.